morning children how are you today i'm back with your maths class and for today the topic is addition addition you have done in your previous class so what is exactly addition addition is the total of or the sum of all the objects that are taken into account you have done simple addition like 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 2 plus 2 is equals to 4 the addition that could be done on fingers like you count two fingers here two fingers here and when you count the total fingers these are one two three and four four fingers but what if the numbers are big then how will we add those numbers think see the mouse is also thinking so i'm here to tell you how to count and how to add these numbers let's take an example Suppose we have a number 21 and another number as 4 and we have to add these numbers. So how will we add these numbers? We only have 10 fingers. So how can we add 21 and 4? For this we will use our mind and our fingers. We will keep 21 in our mind and we will count 4 fingers. So what have we kept in our mind? 21. And how many fingers are we counting? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 21 in our mind and 4 in our hand. Now what we do? We forward count or we count from the next number after 21. So we have 21 here. What comes after 21? 22, then 23, 24 and then 25. So 21 plus 4 gives us 25. I hope you understood this method. Now what is the name of this method? This method is known as horizontal addition. Say it with me. Horizontal addition. Why is it known as horizontal? Horizontal means in a single line. Since all the numbers 21 the plus sign and 4 and the result also that is 25 they are in a single line that is why it is known as horizontal addition. Let's take another example. Suppose we have number 16 and 2 and we have to add these numbers. So what will we do? We will keep 16 in our mind and 2 in our hand and then we will forward count. 16, forward count, 17, 18. So what is the answer? 18. So this was all about horizontal addition. Now there are some addition facts. Three addition facts. Fact of 0, fact of 1 and order. The fact of 0 says that if we add 0 to any number, the result is the number itself. Means if we add 30 plus 0, the answer would be 30. If we add 100 plus 0, the answer would be 100. The second fact is fact of 1. It says that if we add 1 to any number, it will give the after number of that number. Like if we add 1 to 6, it will give 7. And what comes after 6? You already know because you have done it. So what comes after 6? 7 comes. Similarly, if we add 1 to 2, the answer would be 3. And what comes after 2? 3. So this is the fact of 1. Now comes the third fact that is order. Order says that whether we add 3 plus 7 or we do 7 plus 3, the answer would be same. So this was all for today and I hope you have understood the topic well and the facts also. And now your homework is that you will practice some questions so that you know the topic well. Okay. Bye. Thank you.